Hi, my name is Emily Gavigan, and today I'm going to be talking about how advertisements do in fact play mind games on their consumers. Most of our actions are actually driven by our subconscious mind, whether we realize that or not. The goal of advertisements is to trick our brains into wanting things we do not need. Consumers struggle to really recognize what advertisements are really doing to our minds. The University of California has shown that the brain regions that are involved with decision making and emotional processing experience a significantly high level um, of stress when we watch logical persuasion ads. Advertisements do in fact control our subconscious thoughts. Um, manipulative advertising comes from using facts and arguments playing with our consumers' emotions, misleading, and it leads to a deceptive manner. So. And again, checking our mind. Some things they target are our demographics and our socioeconomic traits, such as age, gender, sex, where you live, um, income, work experience, all of that. And it's really tailored to you, especially if you see ads on your computer. Past this, ads we see every day are just a straight manipulation tool. The way advertising is used as a marketing man manipulation tool can be seen in various different ways. Um, it basically controls our mind and the desires of consumers. Manipulations um, come from more of our hierarchy of needs, such as the need for shelter and nourishment, security, or even being our social needs, being accepted by others, or our psychological needs, you know, the need to behave consistent with self-image um, and enhance our self-image for others, and as well as a function of advertising can be linked to a different mix of needs, such as the identification of a product and differentiation of others. Consumer information can also induce a customer's way to see a new product. Um, another thing that happens is the illusion of scarcity. So when you see an ad and it says, oh, six left or only on sale for a certain amount of time, it creates an illusion of scarcity in our minds. That's not actually happening. So it makes us nervous to the point where we feel the need to buy you know, that product, even though it's not scarce and we don't need it. There's also social proof. So growing up in today's day and age, I'm pretty sure we're all very familiar, you know, with social media, influencers, all of that. You know, I was scrolling through my TikTok today and I see influencers on a trip that's being paid for by cosmetic brands and food brands and all that kind of stuff. And it's to trick our minds into thinking we actually need these products when we don't, to feel that we need to fit in. It's a huge manipulation tool. Due to manipulative ads, consumers like us fall into the trap of buying most products advertised to them. Those these, though these manipulation ads may have gotten to us once or twice in the past, I'm here to say now we can start to recognize them. Um, you need to start being able to under, uh, identify the underlying message for your receiving. You have to understand, you know, position of wording, fonts, words used um, really can trigger minds such as last chance or big sale or any of that on top of that colors are huge with mind games a lot of you can see restaurants have reds and yellows and um their advertising and that's because it tricks our mind into thinking we're hungry we're not actually hungry it's the way we're advertising and then yet again your needs versus your wants oh you really need this product do you need that product or do you want that product once you're able to really start identifying and looking for alternatives, you'll be able to avoid these subconscious mind games that advertisements play. Advertisements aren't just to put something out about a product, it's to manipulate you. The goal of an advertisement overall is to trick our, trick our minds. Companies have teams that study us constantly, finding our weaknesses, wanting to target our subconscious minds. So in the end, we need to be able to recognize these tricks they play on us which in the end returns our power and gives us the opportunity to no longer fall under these games and to stop consuming overpriced, overstocked products. Let's just hope our subconscious mind doesn't start tricking us too.